So this pimple that is like right here, it is about to pop. It might happen actually while I'm filming, so that'll be really fun to watch. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome, welcome. My name is Ray, and if you don't know who I am, that's okay because you can find out more about me here on all social media platforms. My skin type is oily, sensitive, reactive, dehydrated, and sometimes it can also be combination. Yes Style sent over five sunscreens today for me to review. Some of these sunscreens have been reviewed in depth on the channel before, so I'll try to make those reviews quick. And some products have been in my daily rotation for some time already, but I just never turned on the camera and showed you guys, or talked about them in detail on this channel. So this is the perfect opportunity for that. On this channel, we review Asian skincare products so that you can shop with confidence. Everything I say in this video comes from my personal experiences. If you have any serious skin concerns, please consult your trusted dermatologist or esthetician. With that being said, let's go! First up, we have Isn't Trees Watery Sun Gel. This is a chemical sunscreen that works really well to hydrate your skin with eight types of hyaluronic acid. This is also their newer packaging. I think I still have like another packaging that is like the older one, and this one is definitely much nicer, in my opinion. I've talked about the sun gel multiple times on the channel already, so I'm not going to go too into detail about this sunscreen in this video. This sun gel does leave your skin with a very dewy finish, and I think it actually suits dry and dehydrated skin a lot more than it does for oily skin. Although there is no fragrance in this product, I feel like you will get a stinging in your eye area or in your eyes throughout the day. In terms of white cast or gray cast, you will notice a little bit of it in the very beginning once you apply it on, but it does go away once you massage it into your skin. The last time I rated this sunscreen, I think I gave it an A- and I still stand by that rating. This is Purito's Daily Soft Touch Sunscreen. You can also find a very thorough review of this sunscreen somewhere on my channel. This is also a chemical sunscreen that leaves you with a very satin finish on your skin, and it has no white cast. Oh, and there is no fragrance, so it checks off all the boxes. And even though it is a chemical sunscreen, I didn't notice any stinging around my eye areas, in my eyes, throughout the day, unlike the Zintries. It also leaves a very hydrating and moisturizing effect on my skin for the first hour, but it does fade away gradually over the next couple of hours. The best part about this sunscreen is that it doesn't feel sticky on your face and it doesn't feel heavy at all. And I think that oily skin types would definitely enjoy this sunscreen a lot. This is still an A plus sunscreen for me today. Moving on to our favorite face deodorant. Just kidding, but this Tokobo Sunstick is truly the most fragrance sunstick I've ever come across in the market right now. But fragrance aside, I do like using this sunstick for its semi-matte finish. And I noticed that this sunstick actually helps control my oil production throughout the day. A few swipes of this sunstick would remove the shiny and oily surface on my skin for a few hours. But of course, that varies depending on your skin type and how sweaty you are throughout the day. This was actually my very first sunstick ever and when I gifted one to my sister, it became her first sunstick. And now she loves this sunstick so much. It's super lightweight, like literally on your skin, but also the packaging is super lightweight. And it's also very small, so it doesn't take up a lot of space in your bag. But remember to swipe at least four times in the same skin area for any sunstick, not just Toko Bows, so that you can get the right amount of SPF coverage. After a year of using this face deodorant, I can finally rate it with confidence. This right here here is a B plus sunstick. The beauty of Chosun has been working non-stop to give us quality sunscreens. First, there was the rice probiotic sunscreen, which everyone loved, and then they launched this mattifying sunstick. The hype around this sunstick is definitely worth it, and I can see why people love it so much, but I've also had technical issues with this sunstick a couple of times on multiple occasions, and the issue with this sunstick is the twist mechanism over here. For whatever reason, the sunstick has been stuck, but of course, once I show you guys on camera, it's not stuck anymore. And this issue is actually very similar to that of 
chapsticks or lipsticks. It's not the perfect mechanism, but it's also not the end of the world. But for $18, I would expect a little bit more from this sunstick compared to, say, your $3 chapstick. Like I said earlier, this is a mattifying sunstick and it's actually one of the most mattifying sunsticks in the market. That's actually its key selling point because it uses silica powder to absorb the oils on our skin. This would work great for oily skin types, but for dry and dehydrated skin types, this sunstick offers no hydration or moisturization at all. It is nice to have this sunstick around to control the oil production on my skin, especially because I am an oily skin person, but that's about it. I personally have other sunsticks that are more hydrating yet still give me that semi-matte finish. But this sunstick does get brownie points for not having added fragrance. So I'm gonna rate this sunstick an A-. Finally, our last sunscreen of the day. This is Pyeongkang Yu's Calming Sun Cream. If you've known me for a while, then you should know by now that I am Pyeongkang Yu's biggest fan. Their Calming Sun Cream was one of the few products that I never got the chance to try when it launched. So I'm really glad I got to try this out for this video. Right off the bat, I loved it so much, and I'm not even being biased. Pyeongkang Yu has failed so hard with their first two sunscreens. Their Ato Mild Sun Cream was just white cast galore, it was awful, and their Moisture Sun Cream was just way too heavy on my skin. I was so relieved that Pyeongkang Yu finally came out with a good sunscreen. This sunscreen contains calming ingredients such as Sika and tea tree, but it also contains hydrogen ingredients such as panthenol to keep the skin plump. I also love that there is ceramide, niacinamide, and tocopherol to help keep our skin barrier tight. The texture isn't too thick and it sits pretty lightly on my skin. This is a sunscreen that is made for combination skin types, especially those with sensitive skin. Pyeongkang Yu finally did it. This is an A plus sunscreen. That is all for this video. Thank you YesStyle for sending over these sunscreens for me to try. Let let me know in the comments below which sunscreen you have been loving lately. I'll leave all the product links in the down bar below for you guys to check out in case you guys are interested. Please help this channel grow by subscribing and sharing this video with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. But until then, be safe, stay hydrated, and most importantly, be gentle with yourself. I mean it. Annyeong, come back for more. Chuseyo. I just wanna make your mind